So here's a question for you. Is the stock market random? And to answer this question, let's start off with an experiment. So here you can see the chart for a stock. And I wouldn't tell you what stock it is yet, and I'll actually hide it for now. And you don't know what time period you're looking at for now. And here you will see different candlesticks. Now, if you don't know what a candlestick is, white candles means up and black candles means down. So as of this moment, what do you think the next candle will be? So you can take a minute to think about that. You got a guess? So I'm going to reveal the next candle to you. It's down. Now, a lot of you might have guessed, hey, I got it right. Now, let's guess again. What do you think the next candle is? So if you have been guessing down twice in a row, then that's great. What about the next candle? Up. So did you get it right this time? And let's do one more. Up. Did you get it right? Or did you guess it's going to continue to go down? So that brings me to the topic of the day. Is the stock market random? And this reminded me of a book called Fool by Randomness. When you're looking at a lot of gambling strategies, it's easy to think that stock market is just a casino and you make money by making random guesses. When I talk to a lot of people, this is actually a feeling a lot of people get. Just now, when you're going through the experiment, I didn't give you any additional information about what kind of stock that is, what time frame you're looking at, which date it is, what kind of financials the company has, so on and so forth. And when you're trying to guess the direction of the next candle, it feels like gambling, doesn't it? That's exactly what separates a gambler and an investor. When you think the stock market is gambling, or you think the stock market is random, is because you don't understand what is causing the change in price. If you understand the change in price, then it becomes relatively easier to predict the stock's next move, and hence, you wouldn't feel like it is gambling anymore. So I'm going to give you a couple of examples here. The first example is earnings. So imagine before earnings is released that the stock has good earnings. And then after the stock earnings is released, the stock price goes up. It is consistent with your expectation. So suddenly that is not gambling anymore because you have an expectation of the stock price. And second example, right now, China is encountering an energy crisis. So then the oil price are going up and then you buy oil stock, which I cover extensively on this channel. So now you understand the driver of the stock and you made money. So is that still gambling? Third example, let's say Southwest Airlines canceled 2,000 flights because of a technical issue back in 2016. But Southwest Airlines is a pretty good company and it's just a short-term problem. And one day they're going to recover. So then you buy when Southwest Airlines is cheap. And that's exactly what I did four years ago. So if you have a very strong understanding of the stock, what's happening in a the market, then investing will not be like gambling anymore. In fact, investing will be like investing. And that's what Warren Buffett, Charlie Munger, and other mutual fund managers do, is that they spend time researching the company. And once they have a good understanding of the market on what will happen in the future, they invest. Here's another example for you. This year, China technology stock took a great hit. The likes of Alibaba, Tencent, and other China tech companies all went down. The question you should ask yourself is, how is their financial looks like? How is their fundamental looks like? Is there any significant change to your business model? How severe is the impact? And as an investor, if you have a good answer to these questions, then I think it presents a very strong hypothesis on what you're about to do in the future. So do you think the stock market is random? Let me know your thoughts in the comment below. If you're looking for a book recommendation, I would recommend you to read the book called Fool by Randomness and also The Fortunes Formula. You can also study technical analysis as well. And if you're looking for some additional free resources, then I have a free webinar on how to get 30%, a free course on how to set up your charts correctly, a free technical analysis template that you can get in the description below as well. And I'm starting a new YouTube channel called Monthly Passive Income.
So all those links are in the description below and you can check it out if you want to. One more thing. If you are wondering what's the stock in the experiment, it is Apple 15 minute chart. 